Yo, welcome back to the NYA show. Got my work cut out for me this week, baby. Got my work cut out for me this week. But we're going to get straight to it when it comes to the show and to the action. It's Saturday here where I'm at. Uh, beautiful day that God gave us. But at the same time, it has definitely been a rainy Saturday here. I have took it to my adventure. Got a lot of sleep. Caught up on my raise in Canaan because I was seeing too many uh, give. I was seeing too many giveaways on the internet all the time. I like if I don't get caught up on this show, I'm gonna be really blow. I was like, I, I don't mind uh, spoilers because I'm gonna watch it anyway. But I still want to be able to watch the show and not know what was coming. So I definitely caught up on that. I'm good to go on that. I'm caught up for whatever coming this week. We good. We set. We we good to go. It's like I said, it's been a very weary day here in Georgia. Like I said, but I want to always uh, shout out to everybody that support the show, so, you know, support me. I think I left out Lando Tech last time. Shout out to my dog, Lando Tech, for always holding it down. Uh, to, the weekend has been good to me so far. It's only Saturday. I spent some time at the hospital over here um, at Emory. And I must say, y'all, if y'all know anybody that's in the hospital, you have any free time, just go to the hospital. Make people smile. They need to put maybe some music, little speakers throughout all the hallways to get like a little jazz, a little some to go on in the background of the hospital because it's such a, a sad setting in the emergency room. Everybody in the, you know, ready to get they annoyed. They want to get help. Everybody looking sad. Then on the other side, when I'm going in, when I was looking, going to find a room for somebody I was looking for, everybody, if they not sleep, they're looking miserable in there. So, that, you know, just I just wanted to put that on people. Um, Put that out there because on my it was on my mind, on my spirit. And now I want to go ahead and get to uh, an interview. Here it is my promotion, my usual promotion. Do I got everything set how it's supposed to be? Uh, peace. Literally, is no pressure. Episode one fifty four available on YouTube. Now that interview, as well as how mother mother is balancing life and pursuit of dreams. An interview with actress Brianna M. Thomas by AJ Tanby is available on Spotify. Go run that up. Click the links. They will definitely be right there for you down there in the comments. Now. You're the reason I am president. Biden embraces black voters in South Carolina. The president sought to solidify his standards with the key Democratic bloc and submit the state's first in the nation status. I heard more about what Trump did with uh, what's his name, Buck, um, bucking his eyes this week. Um, I saw that video more times than I saw anything about Joe Biden being in South Carolina at a barbershop. All right, this is from Columbia, South Carolina. President Joe Biden on Saturday returned to the state that sparked his 2020 comeback uh, when he's all but certain to win the first sanctioned Democratic primary next week. When I watched the last presidential campaign from primaries all the way down, everything was looking all right. We didn't know how it was going to go. Biden was not clear to be the next president until they got to South Carolina. Jim Cl Clyburn and all those got together. That's what solidified him to become the president. You cannot tell me any different. Well, maybe you can. You can show me something else. But if you go back along the trail, that's where I saw when it was like, boom, Joe Biden's going to be the president of the, the Democratic elect. But eventually he would bump Trump out. We knew at that very point. Uh, Biden's headline, the South Carolina Democratic Party's first in the nation celebration there. Lord. Uh, delivering an amped up message to black voters, a key part of the state's Democratic coalition and, a, and you know, vital to Biden's success in November. Biden leaned into what his administration has accomplished for black Americans while highlight his choice to elevate South Carolina to the first in the nation slot. He also dug into Donald Trump. Didn't see any videos of what he said, ramping up his attacks on the heavy favorite for the GOP nomination. The truth is, I wouldn't be here without the Democratic voters of South Carolina, and that's a fact, Biden said. You're the reason I'm president. You're the reason Kamala Harris is a historic vice president, and you're the reason Donald Trump is defeated, is a defeated former president. You're the reason Donald Trump is a loser, and you're the reason we're going to win and beat him again. He has to say things like that as the black vote and support they've said recently dropped for Biden as we come up on this election in November. His trip to Palmetto State to the Palmetto State was one of the several treks he and the vice president have made it to the state this month as the president aides and allies view the February primary as an important moment to demonstrate his support among black voters, black voters, and to beat back critics concerned about Biden standing with the key block, key block reparations, y'all. The president ran through a list of policy accomplishments from record unemployment, 
some would say, no, I, I was sending that to a brother yesterday that said that he had been out of work three months and he was on uh, damn probation. Uh, uh, unemployment, let's see, prescription drug saving, yeah, in some places, but my grandmother just had to get a prescription after she came, had only could get help from the emergency room because the doctor wasn't responding in time, and at the, uh, um, her insurance paid whatever they paid, she still had to come out of pocket $22, people on fixed income that may not sound like a lot to y'all 22 bucks, but if you're on a fixed income and you don't got it like that, $22 can be a lot a fiery biting, uh, he kept going at Trump. As commander-in-chief, I look at veterans completely different from Donald Trump. Think about this, especially here in South Carolina. These are the words of Trump. A proud military state. Donald Trump, when he was commander-in-chief, refused to visit a U.S. cemetery outside of Paris for fallen American soldiers and referred to those heroes as, I quote, suckers and losers biden said he actually said that he said that how dare he say that how dare you talk about my son like that look i call i call them patriots and heroes the only loser i see is donald trump so those are some few biting words that biden has put out there towards trump republican dean uh rep yeah rep, yeah, uh, rep dean phillips who uh, who was also in the event didn't participate in the call in response. He stood to clap for Biden as the crowd, the crowd gave the president a standing ovation. Before the dinner, Republican Jim Clay Clyburn, like I mentioned, accompanied Biden as the president made his first stop at Regal Lounge Barbershop in downtown Columbia, took selfies and shook hands with the customers. Sound cool, but we need more than that. We need, yo, what are you going to do exactly? You, you saying we help you win. You're the reason that, we're the reason that you're the president, but yet we see no no life changing, no real policy change for black voters that I've seen in a couple of years since Biden has been in there. Campaign aides have reiterated that the purpose of the South Carolina visit is twofold, ramping up support for Biden in advance for the primary while also trying to make good on a promise to submit the state's first in the nation primary stats. I think that, okay, I got a few bit more to go with this story, but I just want to make sure that everybody leaves comments. Let me know what do you think about how the president has done <laughs> In a couple of years that he's been in there so far, if you are a black voter, can you pinpoint things aside from what I said that the White House said they did that truly was a benefit to black voters? While recent polls have shown Biden underperformed among black voters compared with his 2020 results, his admirers are hopeful these early investments will send a message that the campaign is prioritizing their support and that it can help dissolve Dems concern about sagging enthusiasm. February 3rd is your primary. The first in the nation, Biden said, he, as he wrapped his speech, organize, mobilize, vote. Let's remember who we are. Let us remember who you are. The same president, uh, president-elect that said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. They, you know, those are the type of things that they say can win black people. Going, taking selfies, shaking hands, that does not win us. These things are cool, but if you're gonna come, if you're going to come and show your face, please come with some tangibles of what you did. And if it's not tangibles of what you did, what are you doing this week, next week, before the election that's gonna secure secure that vote? Let me know what your thoughts are on this story. It's the NYA show talking about politics, y'all. Joe Biden went to South Carolina.